So this is the example. This is where I need you to start writing. So I want you to write down this class that we are going to be working with. So this is the class. I want you to just take down that particular class. I'll give you a minute and these are the attributes. You've got uh, a class called coronavirus and it has the attributes uh, country. That's the name of the country. Population size. The number of people that are infected, if infected. The number of deaths that have uh, taken place in the country. And then if spent is the amount of money spent by the country in finding a cure for this virus. And then we have F code, which is just a code that's created for the country, depending on um, the severity of the number of infections. So we create a particular code for them. So I'm hoping that you've taken down these and also take note that this is saved in a unit called Corona underscore U. So our entire example that we're going to be going through in this session is going to be dependent on this class or this uh, type section that we are creating uh, where we create this class called T coronavirus. So we've got eight questions. We're not going to go through all eight questions. I'm going to circle the ones that uh, you need to do. Okay. So I want you to do number one. We're going to leave out number two, three, four. Okay, number five is just a comment. And then you need to do five, six, sorry, six, seven, and eight. So at this stage, um, I want you to write the constructor. Keep note that we are writing the declaration for the definition section. There's two parts. There's a definition and there's an implementation. So here, all I want you to do is write down what would appear here in the definition, not what would appear uh, in the implementation. So it's going to be one line of code that you're going to be writing for one, six, seven, and eight. Let's look at the answers. So the first one was the writing of the constructor. And in the constructor, it indicated to receive the country, population size, number infected, number deaths, and assign to the relevant attributes. So they were asking for the country, population size, infected, deaths. These are two attributes they did not say you should receive. So I'm assuming, you can, you can assume that at a later stage, values will be assigned to these attributes. So in your constructor, you got the country, you got the population size, number infected, number of deaths. Those are the four parameters that you need. That's for your definition. I didn't ask for the implementation yet. The second one that I asked you to do was number six, write a method called how bad. So there's the method how bad, 
you have to figure out whether it's a function or a procedure. If you read carefully, it says that will receive the total infections, total new infections, and will find and return. So you know that the minute you see the word return, that means it's a function. But they also indicated that it will receive. Receive means that's your parameter. It's going to receive the total new infections, and that is an integer. Okay. And if you continue reading, it says if the infections exceed 500, uh, if it's below 500, return true. Well, it talks about returning true or false. So that would mean that it's returning a Boolean value. So I hope you were able to figure this out. Return means a function, that's the name. Parameter means receive. And Boolean, it's returning a true false. Number seven, write a method called find severe. So there, that's the name immediately. That's the name of the method that will determine the severity level of the spread of the virus and return low, medium, and high. So immediately the word return, it means it's a function. They do not talk about receiving any values and you want to return low, medium, or high, that is a string value. So in this instance, you can uh, take for granted that this method is going to make use of the attributes that we have and are available to us, and they will not pass anything as a parameter. When we write the implementation, we'll see more about that. Number eight. Write a method called find code. That's the name of the method, find code. That will find the country code and assign it to the attribute. It says nothing about returning. Therefore, we write it as a procedure. And it says nothing about receiving. So it's simply a procedure called find code. So these were the definitions that you were expected to write for uh, those four questions.